Hi everyone, I'm Belle. Yeah, like the heroine of the famous fairy tale about Beauty and the Beast. Sometimes, I really felt like a princess who lived in the top of a tower and was guarded by an evil dragon. Except, instead of a dragon, I had my dad. He wouldn't let me do anything. Not even go on walks on the weekend or wear makeup. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the smartest and most beautiful girls in my school. I got asked out all the time, but I didn't date anyone because my dad forbade me from it. But the worst thing was that I wasn't allowed to take singing lessons, even though it was something I had always <gasps> dreamed of. Belle, you should focus on becoming a doctor. Don't even think about performing on stage. <sighs> If mom was there, she would have taken my side. At least, that's what I like to think. Unfortunately, she left when I was very young, so I didn't really know her. One day, I was going home in high spirits. I had just nailed a test, and it was the beginning of the holidays. Then, I heard upbeat music. Wow, a street musician was playing my favorite song on a saxophone. <sighs> he was doing so great, I couldn't help but sing along. Passers-by crowded around our brilliant duo and started to clap. Butterflies were fluttering in my stomach. But then, someone in the crowd shouted my name angrily. Oops, it was my dad. Belle, what do you think you're doing? He was red like a tomato. He grabbed my hand and dragged me to our car. We fought the whole way. I told you not to sing. But why? Don't argue with me. You're grounded, young lady. We drove up to our house and we saw a car parked next to it. A beautiful woman stepped out of the car. When dad saw her, he visibly tensed and gritted his teeth. Natalie, what are you doing here? I came to see my daughter. This time, I even have the court's permission. The woman shook some documents in the air. Dad read them and turned white. Meanwhile, my blood ran cold. Wait, was that stranger my mom? I felt dizzy and everything went dark. When I opened my eyes, I saw the worried faces of my parents. That woman, that is, my mom, hugged me tight. Belle, baby, I'm so glad to finally see you. Then she told me that she'd been trying to contact me for a long time, but dad wouldn't let her. What? How dare he keep us apart? Now I can finally talk to you, Belle. Mom said we had a lot of catching up to do. She suggested I move to her place in the neighboring town for a few months. Hmm. I was confused because Mom had abandoned me when I was really young. But... What if she had a good reason for that? I wanted to get to know her better. Dad tried to dissuade me, but I was really mad at him. So, I packed my things and I soon left with my mom. She turned out to be stylish, witty, and caring. We immediately hit it off. One evening, as we talked, Mom told me that she used to dream of being a singer, but Dad was against it. He kept trying to control her, so Mom left. Wow, we had so much in common. Now I was even more pissed off at Dad. Soon, the holidays ended and my mom sent me to the local school. I was quite confident, so I wasn't worried at all. However, some upstart tried to ruin my mood when I accidentally stepped on her foot. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't see you there. What are you, blind? You should go get your eyes checked. In my old school, everyone loved me, so her rudeness confused me. But then, I decided I would put her in her place. People are only rude when they're insecure. You look dumb. Everyone in the hallway laughed. The girl turned bright red and ran away. She shouldn't have messed with me. <laughs> A cute guy came up to me. It was hard to look at his beaming smile without sunglasses. <laughs> I like how you dealt with Scarlet. She's so nasty, no one wants to be friends with her. Are you new here? I nodded and I introduced myself. That handsome guy's name was Anthony. He gave me a tour of the school and helped me find my classroom. Then he sat down next to me and winked at me. Don't worry, Belle. I'll help you with chemistry. Help me? <laughs> I was a perfect straight-A student. By the end of the lesson, I proved to the whole class that not only was I beautiful, but also really damn smart. I quickly became popular. You impressed me, new girl. See you tomorrow. Having said that, Anthony went outside where... Whoa! A helicopter was waiting for him. That's how I found out he was rich as hell. It was nuts! The next day, Anthony started to give me compliments and gifts. For example... One day, I opened my locker and a bunch of roses fell out of it. He also mm -hmm. ordered a burger covered in gold for me. It 
tasted awful, but it looked really amazing. After a week of that, Anthony finally asked me out on a real date. Of course, I said yes. We made a balloon flight. <laughs> Can you imagine? And then a heart-shaped firework appeared in the sky. Anthony took my hands into his and looked into my eyes. You're the coolest girl in school, and you deserve to date the coolest guy, me. Oh, well, modesty wasn't his forte, but he was the prince of my dreams. So I agreed to become his girlfriend. We talked all through the evening, and I even told him about my fear of water. Soon, we became the most beautiful and talked about couple in the school. I was living an actual fairy tale. Getting expensive gifts and being the center of attention was awesome. I did tell him he was spending too much money on me one day. Baby, my dad is a millionaire. He gives me anything I ask for. Aw, what a generous father. I even thought about asking Anthony to donate money to some charities. Long story short, things were going great. I was dating a millionaire and living with an understanding mom. Even dad's countless messages weren't enough to ruin my mood. He kept trying to tell me how to live and convince me to come back home. Scarlett's constant taunts didn't bother me either. That total witch wouldn't leave Anthony and I alone. You're as fake as Ken and Barbie. I could see why no one wanted to be friends with her. I wondered why Scarlett was being so nasty, but then I found out that she used to date Anthony. He dumped her, and she couldn't get over it. One evening, my mom did something that surprised me. Honey, I hate to ask, but since your boyfriend is rich, could you ask him to lend me some money? Oh, wow. Mom said that she had always wanted to open a music restaurant where she and other artists would be able to perform. However, she needed a lot of money for that. I liked her business plan, but I didn't want to ask Anthony for money. This might be my last chance to fulfill my dream. <sighs> Heck, Mom was right. Dad had clipped her wings, but I wanted to support her. I talked to Anthony. He liked the idea too, and he agreed to help. Are you sure? That's a lot of money. Anything for you. You can pay me back once the restaurant starts making a profit. I'll talk to my dad. He was the best. When he left the room, I saw tabs of various charities on his computer screen. Wow, so he donated money to charities and never even bragged about it? What an absolute angel! Soon, mom got the money she needed and she opened her restaurant. It immediately became popular. I was hoping she would pay Anthony's father back soon. One day, as I was leaving school, I saw Scarlett standing by Anthony's electric scooter. She was holding a can of paint. Hey, what are you up to? Mind your own business, Belle. I will get my revenge. Anthony's a terrible person. That's not true. My boyfriend is kind and caring. He even donates to charities. Scarlett suddenly <laughs> clutched her stomach and burst out laughing. <laughs> Anthony, donating? Are we talking about the same person? At that moment, <clears throat> a security guard appeared in the parking lot and Scarlett ran away. <sighs> she always said something nasty and then ran away like a coward. It was so annoying. After a while, things started to change for the worse. Mom was constantly busy at the restaurant and we no longer spent any time together. Anthony changed as well. He suddenly turned extremely jealous. One of my classmates asked me for help, and Anthony threw a fit. He told me not to talk to any other boys, and he often said things that were really hurtful. Belle, could you put on some decent clothes tomorrow? I'm embarrassed to be seen with you. I was so confused. My prince suddenly turned into a monster. My life was resembling the famous fairy tale more and more by the day. At some point, I couldn't stand it any longer, and I decided I would break up with him. But Anthony gave me the big eyes and begged for forgiveness. I don't know what came over me. Oh, don't judge me, but I forgave him. And the worst thing was that it had happened over and over. He would go ballistic and then give me apology gifts. I had no one to ask for advice because mom was always at her restaurant and I had no friends at my new school. One day, Anthony threw a huge pool party and invited the whole school to it. He gently hugged me, and I thought we were finally okay. But then, he suddenly smirked. Guys, did you know that Miss Perfect here is afraid of water? What? I told him that in confidence! The next second, I fell into the pool. Anthony pushed me. <laughs> How could he do that? He was laughing like a hyena while I was trying to swim to the side of the pool in a panic. Everyone froze in surprise. But then, someone helped me. It was Scarlet? 
Are you okay? She helped me out and led me away. I was still in shock, so she handed me a towel. I heard him tell his friends that he wanted to prank you, so I came. And then, Scarlet told me something that left me completely shaken. It turns out that she had used to be popular. Anthony had fallen for her and asked her out. At first, things had been fine, but soon he started to act like a psycho. Scarlet had broken up with him, and he destroyed her reputation to get revenge. He made everyone at school believe that she was some prickly cactus. I'm afraid the same thing is gonna happen to you. We should have talked earlier, but you were way too blinded by Anthony, and I let my anger get the better of me. It made my blood boil. Ugh! Anthony turned out to be a leech full of buggers! Why hadn't I realized it earlier? His dirty tricks wouldn't work on me any longer. I thanked Scarlet for her help, and I came up to Anthony. I told him we were done, but he only grinned in response. Do you think I'm gonna let you make me look like a loser? If you break up with me, I'll ask my dad to take back the money we gave you. Oh no, that could ruin mom's business. She loved performing. I couldn't let my mom's dream be crushed again. So I told Anthony I was joking. Good girl, now bring me some lemonade. I wasn't gonna put up with that jerk for long. The next day, I came to my mother's restaurant and I asked her to pay Anthony's dad back as soon as possible. I could dump Anthony after that, but mom frowned. All the proceeds go on wages. Hmm. I thought about it and I told her I would help. I can sing too. We'll use my wages to pay off the debt. It was a great plan, but mom glared at me and said that she was the only star there and I was only fit to be a waitress. Um, she hadn't used that tone with me before. It was a bit insulting, but I was ready to do about anything to break up with my boyfriend as soon as possible. So, after school, I started to work as a waitress at mom's restaurant while she sang on stage. I was so busy that I didn't have much time to study, and I even started skipping classes. To my surprise, mom didn't care about it at all. I also often hung out with Scarlett. She wasn't actually as nasty as everyone said. One day, she came up to me, smiling like a Cheshire cat. I couldn't believe that that narcissistic millionaire was actually donating to charities. And I think I know what happened. She whispered her plan in my ear, and I was so happy I even hugged Scarlet. It was time to put that worm in his place. That evening, Mom was supposed to be performing at her restaurant. Anthony and his father came as well. When I brought them their order, Anthony couldn't resist making a nasty comment. I thought I'd grow old before you brought me my soda. Terrible service. I ignored him and I turned to his father. I know that you're a very rich man. Would you like to donate money to an animal shelter? The man said confidently that he already gave a lot of money to his son so he would donate it to charities. And that's when I told him the truth about Anthony. Scarlett and I found that the charity organizations I'd read about on Anthony's computer didn't exist. He had created those websites to fool his father and take the money for himself. Scarlet, who was sitting at a table nearby with a laptop, even proved our point by creating a dozen similar websites in just five minutes. Anthony turned pale and stammered out his excuses. His dad got so mad, he promised to send his son to a boarding school for boys. Scarlet and I high-fived each other. Oh, and by the way, Anthony, we're done. He gritted his teeth and stormed out of the restaurant. However, his father stayed and thanked us. He also said that since my mom couldn't pay him back, he could become our investor. But first, he wanted to see the performance and evaluate the prospects of the restaurant. I went to go tell mom the good news, and I heard her arguing with someone over the phone. It turned out that one of her singers was stuck in traffic, and there was no one who could replace him. Hmm, this was my chance. I could prove to my mom that I was born for the stage and I could save the day. I took the microphone and got ready to sing, but then my mom ran up to the sound engineer looking furious Ooh. and tried to turn off the music. You naughty girl. I told you, I'm the star here. I was stunned when dad suddenly appeared next to her and stopped her. Let Belle sing. Don't stand in her way. Wow, what was he doing here? For a few minutes, I forgot about everything and I put my whole soul into the song. The audience loved it. I was over the moon. After the performance, Dad got on stage and hugged me. I missed you so much. He told me that he called my school every day and asked them how I was doing. When he found out that I'd been skipping classes, he realized that I was in trouble and he came to help. I also found out why he hadn't wanted me to study music. Mom had been so obsessed with her career that she had taken all of his money and left us. He just didn't want me to one day leave him too. I'm sorry I was so strict with you. You are the biggest treasure in my life. 
Dad was my hero and my role model. I didn't want to have anything to do with my jealous and cunning hmm. mom anymore. Anthony's father came up to us and said that he loved the performance and he wanted me to become the star of the show. But I declined the offer because I wanted to go home and finish school first. Dad and I went back home. Mom had to become a waitress to pay off the debt. Scarlett and I kept in touch. She told me that she had made new friends and Anthony was transferred to a boarding school. Dad gives me so much more freedom now and I can finally sing to my heart's content. Remember the guy with the saxophone? One day, he came up to me on the street and said he'd been looking for me ever since we met. Wow! <laughs> We're going on a date soon. Do your parents disapprove of your hobbies too?